In today's video, I'll be showing you a secret program which drastically lowers your ping and also boosts your FPS. So the program is called NoPing and to get started, click the link attached to the pinned comment. And once you're here, click the free trial button in the top right and then scroll to the bottom of this page and create an account. By creating an account this way, you'll get 7 days to try out NoPing for 100% free so you can see if you like it. Once signed up, download and open the NoPing launcher and now we can optimize our NoPing settings for the best performance. Start by clicking the settings icon in the top right and from here, an Enable the turbo games option. Next, click the big boost FPS button and enable game priority, Windows services, and Windows energy. Now it's time to actually lower our ping. So to do this, go to the home page and then you'll see the games tab. No ping supports over 1000 games so you can boost performance in any other games you play as well. So search for Fortnite and then click select the server. Now find the server region that's closest to you. So since I'm NA East, I'll go down to the United States East section and select the lowest ping server available. Then click the optimize this game button over on the the right side and now we can load up Fortnite. So now I'm going to go do some testing and I'll be back to show you the results. I first wanted to see if no ping actually lived up to the name and to ensure my results were as accurate as possible, I made sure to close everything on my PC and I also disabled all background apps. So to compare, my ping in creative without no ping was an average of 16 and with no ping I went from 16 milliseconds of ping on average to 14 milliseconds while using no ping. Well that's nothing crazy, you might find no ping reduces your ping much more than it did with mine. And the next thing I did was test out no ping in some pubs. I played a total of three matches to get an accurate score and without no ping enabled, my average ping across three games was 30 milliseconds. Then after turning on no ping and playing another three games, my ping went from 30 milliseconds on average to a surprisingly lower 27 milliseconds on average. Well, that's still not insane. It did actually lower my ping, which is definitely a success to me. Now, what about those FPS settings that we turned on earlier? Let's test those out too. Again, in creative with no no FPS settings turned on and my FPS is hovering around 540 on average while building and then with the FPS settings turned on I went from 540 FPS on average to a slightly higher 555 FPS on average. That actually isn't bad at all and I'd assume the FPS boost would be much bigger if you were on a lower end PC. Of course the next thing I did was hop into pubs to see if no ping would also boost my FPS. So I first played three matches without the FPS settings on and across three games on average my FPS was about 290. Then and after turning on the FPS boost settings and playing three more games, I went from 290 FPS on average to 300 FPS on average while using the FPS settings. So while I didn't experience any drastic changes in my ping or FPS, it did lower my ping slightly and it seemed to also slightly boost my FPS, which was honestly quite surprising. I'd say definitely give no ping a try as you might even find that you get much better results than I did. So there's no harm in trying it out and you can do so for free for seven days by clicking the link that I've attached to the pinned comment or in the video description. And thank you so much to NoPing for sponsoring this video. I appreciate NoPing for letting me be transparent in my results because transparency is very important. But anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon.